They have them. It's time. Today, I didn't make it. Welcome back to another vlog. Today we're starting out this vlog a little different. We're doing a clothing haul and if you know me, you know that fall and winter is definitely my favorite season. So new season, new wardrobe, okay? White Fox is sponsoring today's video, so shout out to them. Thank you so much. Feel free to use my code SHAUNXO for 15% off your order and let's see what's in this package. So I wanted to be strategic with all the pieces that I picked up because I'm learning that it is very important to have certain staples in your closet for each season so that you can always be guaranteed to have something to wear. So I picked up this set. It's called Let's Get Cozy Knit Sweater Set. So I got the pants and the um, top because this does not come as a set. They are definitely separate. I got it in this beige color. And then I also grabbed it in black as well, just because I feel like these two colors are two neutrals where I will always be guaranteed to have something to wear because I can either dress this outfit up or down. I can zip it up. I can roll it up and crop it. I can do a lot of different things with this outfit. So I felt like this was the perfect set to have in my closet, especially in both colors for the season. Also, I just wanted to highlight the fact that the pants on both, you can zip or unzip to your liking. A staple jumpsuit is always needed in every girl's wardrobe because it's so versatile. You can wear it alone, you can wear it with a trench, you can wear it with a cardigan. You know, you can just do a lot of different things or dress up a jumpsuit in various of ways. So I got this really cute jumpsuit. I love the neckline on it. It's just so feminine and I'm definitely stepping. Well, I'm not even stepping at this point. I'm, I've been in <laughs> that like really feminine era lately. So I definitely had to grab this because it's just so cute and comfy. Then I went with a more dressy um, jumpsuit as well in black because black is really just my color. I was looking at my Instagram page the other day and I'm like, girl, almost every single picture you have on all black <laughs> can we get some color but that's just my color so i got this jumpsuit and it's just so pretty and elegant and dressy and classy it's just everything all in one then i grabbed this dress that is just so pretty and feminine y'all oh my god i just felt so feminine with this dress on this one is a little bit see-through um but it's not really showing up see-through on cam and i also didn't see it being see-through in the mirror either but just when i was holding it up before i put it on it looked see-through so i don't know maybe just be careful with that but this is just so gorgeous on me i felt so beautiful it's kind of like i grabbed a dress for every occasion a jumpsuit for every occasion because you know, I got a jumpsuit for dressy and then I got me a dress down jumpsuit. And now I got the dresses. And this is just so cute. Definitely would be perfect for like um, a night out or something. I don't go out, but my type of going out. <laughs> and then I grabbed these jeans that are super cute. I love the feel. I actually did not select these first. These were a, um, alternative but i'm absolutely obsessed with them i'm definitely going to be going more towards the low rise than high rise jeans because i love the way they fit on me so then i grabbed this long sleeve and i grabbed this in three different colors i really wish i would have grabbed more i really wanted their charcoal one but they were sold out so i would be waiting on them to restock because girl the quality of this top the fit the smoothness, girl, I'm obsessed. I immediately went to go check and see if they had restock when I got the package in because I also was like a little bit nervous about the fit of it because I ended up getting a small and not an extra small, but y'all, this small fits so perfect. I got this skirt because I just feel like, you know, y'all know I'm a church girl, okay? You gotta have a church outfit, a church skirt in your wardrobe at least one and i just feel like this is a church skirt okay 
Now I can dress it up outside of church, but the long skirts just give me church girl. So I grabbed one, it does have a little slit in it. So it's not all the way holier than thou, but you get what I mean. Okay, on to coats and jackets. So you always have to have you a black leather jacket in your wardrobe, okay? For the fall and winter season. So I grabbed this one and I'm guessing that this is just the fashion trend right now. The neck where we have this over flap. Um, I'm not really sure how to explain it, but hopefully y'all know what I'm talking about. Because I've been seeing most jackets kind of made like that. So I guess that's just what we're going with for the season. So I grabbed this one in black. And I think they have um, another one in this style. Maybe in another color. I'm not sure. But I know I have a denim jacket just like this. So then I grabbed this black leather trench. Because I feel like it will definitely be a staple. And if you don't know. Now you know I do have to wear all black to church when I am serving um, on my specific ministry team. So every time I'm shopping for new clothes, I always make sure that I'm giving things that I will also be able to wear to church. And that will be appropriate. And I definitely feel like this will be perfect to just throw over a dress or a skirt or anything like that. Oh girl, then I got this denim trench. Y'all cannot tell me that these pieces that I selected are not hitting, okay? Do you see this? Okay, you see it. So I cannot wait to give y'all the looks for real with these pieces because I've been laying low, but I'm coming back soon. And now for the final look, we know that you cannot shop for a fall winter wardrobe without getting you at least one sweatsuit. So when I seen this pink one, I was like, yep, add to bag. Because y'all know pink has been my color lately. That's been my favorite color throughout this year. I used to hate pink, but pink is my girl now. So I'm obsessed with this set. Now, I don't think I peeped that it said oversized. Because I got a small, I should have got an extra small. But it's cool. We still gonna rock it and be cute. Oversized and all, okay? So I would just like to say thank you again to White Fox for sponsoring this portion of the video. And although this is a fall and winter wardrobe poll, I would like to highlight the fact that they do offer swimwear and activewear as well as afterpay payment options for US, AUS, and New Zealand residents with express shipping. Now we can hop into the rest of this video. Welcome back to another vloggy. Hold on, let me pay attention. But yeah, hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. I'm so excited to finally be starting an actual weekly vlog because we haven't had a weekly vlog in so long, y'all. I just had to push out my work and everything like that before. Cause I just didn't want to go missing the whole entire month of October, you know? I was really just trying to find out or figure out the best way for me to um, like cut everything up into how it went, you know, and how all the videos ended up going up. So I'm headed to lunch right now with Devin. Um, I think y'all have seen Devin before in the vlogs, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Like a while ago, we went to, um, did I record that? I can't remember. Whenever I had went to the bowling alley, it was him and like Bree and a couple of other people. So I don't know if y'all remember or not. Y'all probably don't because that was literally like last year, kind of around this time. Um, 
close to around this time last year. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm headed to eat with Deb. And we're going to Encore Rouge. I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's a, per a place in the city that I've literally never been or had. And honestly, it's kind of sad because I'm pretty sure probably everybody that lives here has probably had Encore, Encore Rouge before. So... Yeah, but I don't feel bad because he said he hasn't had it either. So we in the same boat. <laughs> we in the same boat, okay? But the food looks really, really good. So I'm excited to go here because I've always heard really, really good things about it. And I'm really, really hungry. So hopefully they don't disappoint because it is classic weekend. And I just don't want to be them to be like moving real fast and stuff because of classic like the, if it's like a demand I don't know if it's packed whatever so yeah but I just wanted to come say hey we're here to go eat feed this belly because I haven't ate anything at all all day I'm ready to grub oh oh and before we get into the rest of this vlog, because this is going to be my first time staying in verbally, I think, because everything else was like old footage that I just had to get out or push out. But yeah, I just said it in like every single description box. But I want y'all to hear me say it verbally, baby. We hit 70K, okay? We hit 70K. And I'm just so grateful and thankful because, girl, it's been a long road. And we still like have a long way to go. But still, we're making progress here. We're making progress. And... I just can't allow myself to like start making progress and then start slacking because like obviously I see what you know being consistent and staying on my game can do and also I just feel like you know other things definitely play a part in it too like but we'll probably talk about that at a later time but I feel like other things definitely play into it and like I said, I've always said it since the beginning, God's timing is always the right timing. So, all this is in his hands, okay? All this is in his hands and however he works with this, I'm, I'm good with So, yeah. I'm about to head out to church and this is my out OTD of the day. I may show y'all like a better view of it like at church though because I don't feel like y'all really getting it because babes, the fit is really, really giving. Like I just really love this, like the vibe of this outfit. This is definitely like my new vibe, so. And I have on my seatbelt because y'all be in the comments like, Sean, I love you, but please put your seatbelt on. It's always on, y'all. It's always on. It's right here, okay? <laughs> I do not drive without a seatbelt. I'm not one of them people. I don't know how people sit up there and drive. Like, the first thing I do when I get in the car is lock the door. And then, number two is put on my seatbelt before I pull off. I feel like my Libby looks too... Like, I don't... It looks dark. Something, something gonna have to change. Something about it gonna have to change because I don't like that. I feel like it's me like rubbing my lips in here.
Okay, baby, like, I'm obsessed. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed. I just, I just love the fit. Like, I really love the fit today. Not gonna fail. He's not gonna fail. Not gonna fail. I'm so, like, late. I'm super duper, uber duper late. Like, it don't even make no sense how late I am, but. Next we're gonna be on time. I keep on saying, I said I was gonna be early today. Like, early, early. Um, get it together, get it together, get it together. Hey y'all, it is Tuesday. I haven't talked to y'all since Sunday. And that really wasn't planned. Cause yesterday I wanted to film yesterday because we had our um, fall festival at church yesterday, but I was like in a rush because I was trying to get up the day in the life video that y'all just seen and I just really wasn't able to just do everything that I wanted to do before going and I also had to work the festival so I was really just run working the whole entire time I didn't really have time to be trying to get clips and everything like that um for myself so yeah if I can find anything then y'all would have already seen it but I don't think I did but yeah it is Tuesday now we're about to get back into our regular scheduled program because this is obviously a weekly vlog I know I was gone for like for the month of October basically but we're back we're back okay and then plus y'all know this is my birthday month so I'm back okay I'm back y'all ain't gotta worry about me leaving no time soon again because that right there wasn't even much planned that I, I looked up and it said 30 days ago and I'm just like girl what what what's even going on so um yeah I'm excited because we're about to go to the grocery store it's nighttime too I literally have been chilling all day kind of just responding back to emails and things like that but I'm about to go to the grocery store and then tomorrow I know we're gonna go hygiene shopping and I have a couple of errands to run too so I'm excited because y'all know going grocery shopping has been like that's just our normal thing that's usually in every single weekly vlog that I upload is going grocery shopping so we're gonna go grocery shopping and then a hygiene not hygiene routine hygiene shopping did I say hygiene routine we're gonna go hygiene shopping tomorrow because that was requested but it was already on my mind too so when i seen the comment i was just like yeah perfect time and we can go ahead and get that done because i do need to like re-up on a couple of things although um i did already re-up on my like toothpaste although it's new i'm trying it out i'm testing it out because i'm not gonna say i've been on the search because i'm not really on the search but I tried out another toothpaste because I seen like good reviews or people were talking about it on TikTok, but I don't know. I really wasn't too fond of it. So now I'm using, I tried out this one, but I didn't really have a problem with my old toothpaste. It was the Arm & Hammer like whitening or something like that. I think it was called. I didn't really have a problem with that one either, but oh well. But yeah, this has been like my daily up, up put, um, real quick throw on these here earrings just make me look so dressed up and like i've actually tried when i really haven't like my hair up under this hat looks a hot mess you wouldn't believe it it's definitely time for me to wash my hair and all that so we're gonna do all that too because i got some new shampoo conditioner that i'm really excited to try out from design essentials um for like moisture because my hair is getting cold and my hair already be dry in the in the summertime so i know for sure i'm gonna have to really really like make sure that i'm keeping my hair hydrated and moisturized during these months as well so i'm really excited to see like how it feels because it had really really good reviews and i think it's something that my hairstylist used to use like when i used to go to my hairstylist i think she used to use it as well so yeah i'm excited we're gonna do all that we're gonna get our life back together okay we're gonna get our life back together because i've been gone for too long that was not planned <laughs> at all please believe me it was not so yeah, but I'm um, y'all when we get to the grocery store.
them. That's how you feel, baby. That's what's up. Hey y'all, okay, so it is Wednesday. It's the next day, and look, I told y'all this has been my daily get up. This hat and these earrings just make the outfit go from 10 to 100 real quick. But I just pulled up at Target. We're about to go in here and we're gonna do our hygiene shopping. And um, I think I have like two skincare things to get. And also, I may look for like some deep matting spray for Braxton in here, or I may go somewhere else. But yeah, we just pulled up at Target, so. Gonna go in here and um, go hygiene shopping together. So we going skin. Oh, don't give my nail look a hot man. Skin, body, yeah, and breaks is a possibility. But next. really really good deodorant that's not going to irritate my underarm and it's going to work um and the last two i use i use secret i tried secret i tried dove i've tried loom i've tried all of them so today i did some research i'm gonna try this brand um i looked up hypoallergenic um, oh wait, but the review said that the gel version is better. Which one is the gel? Okay, this is the gel one, so we're gonna get the gel one. Although I'm a little nervous, this gel be breaking me out. Wait, let me make sure. Oh no, we're gonna do gel, because the solid one has castor oil in it. So yeah, we're gonna do this one and see and i'm gonna let y'all know oh but this is a black this is a black owned deodorant brand that i've seen on tiktok today it smells like men's cologne should i try this one i'm gonna try to have some stuff in there mm-hmm the body washes. I really want to try this one, but me and Sally actually don't really get along. So I'm going to just get this one. Um, Cause I've had this one already before. So I'm going to just get this one. And I didn't finish it, so I want to finish it. But it got messed up before I was able to. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the shaving cream that I would normally get, but I already have some, so I don't need to re-up on this. But just so y'all know, like, you know, what I get when I'm hygiene shopping. Y'all, this is also the brand of shave uh, or razors that I use too. I use these hair razors, which I'm sure I already told y'all. 
I had this one, which I missed. I don't know where it went. I lost it somewhere. But yeah, this is my favorite razors. And also, if you don't have, if you don't have sensitive skin, I highly recommend Athena Club's razors because, girl, you look at the smoothest shades ever. But they're infused with avocado oil, and I can't use that. So. Do I go to school? Oh, somebody trying to hide the small in the back. We're gonna try to eat. But we're gonna see which ones I like. I know I'm not gonna like that. But... Okay, y'all, we're done in Target. Um, I got most of every, oh, I didn't get the dematting spray. So I have to go over to PetSmart or something like that. But we're about to go to this place called Chip. It's a cookie place and it's new to um, town. So we're gonna go ahead and try it and see. But we did get cookies last night though. Be great, be great, be great. Be grateful. Be grateful. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to this um, cookie place. So, yeah, but we still have to, we still have to eat something too. So, I'll see y'all at the cookie place and see what it's here for because y'all know I love cookies.
So this is our cookie of the week and it's pumpkin. And then we have our cocoa cookie, we have our boneless cookie, and it's basically the base of a chocolate chip cookie but with nothing in it. <laughs> we have a chocolate chip cookie, we have our Biscoff cookie, we have our sugar cookie, and then we also have our semi-sweet cookie and it has bigger chunks of chocolate chip in it and then it has sea salt on top. Mm. I know for a fact the one without the boneless. the boneless. Yeah. And then this one is a base of the boneless. And this one is our um, chocolate chip cookie. Or you can customize it however you want. Customize the cookie? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is a boneless, uh, boneless, what, chocolate chip cookie. And this it's so crazy because I was just talking about a boneless chocolate chip cookie with somebody. And I was calling that boneless. They were like, what is boneless? Now, a cookie shop actually has a boneless. It's like titled boneless. Okay, one, two, three. Crumble. Crumble, I'm sorry. Oh my lord. Okay, this is their OG cookie. This is their chocolate chip cookie. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm not even a chocolate chip girl. I don't even like chocolate chip. Okay, well, let me show. Okay, so this one we were able to customize the cookie and we got the sugar cookie and we put um cream cheese icing on top and we put little oreo crumbles on it that one is a little bit the sugar cookie is cold the other two have been like warm i think i like it it's just you can't have too much no don't wipe it off It is the cookie. Don't do sh don't do a sugar cookie. Do boneless. <laughs> the sugar cookie, it's like too salty. This one gonna be good. Wait, I didn't show. Okay, y'all. This one right here, we customized too. This was a boneless cookie. So the chocolate chip cookie without the chocolate chips in it. And we did cream cheese on top with cinnamon sugar sprinkle. And then we added a Heath bar crumble to the top. So I'm really excited for this one because I love Heath bars. It's so soft. Y'all, I literally wear this coat every single day, but I'm just now leaving out of um, the dealership. It is 12.35, I've been there since nine o'clock this morning. Um, I had an appointment at nine this morning to go to the dealership or whatever, so I'm just now leaving from there, but while I'm out, before I go back, I'm gonna go ahead and run the, run, run the errands that I needed to run, so I'm gonna go ahead and go and make the returns that I needed to make so i need to go to um where all do i need to go to i really could go ahead and go to walmart right here but i don't know just uh, i don't feel like it walmart no i'm not going to walmart matter of fact <laughs> i'm gonna go to tj maxx and ross i think those are the two that i need to do tj maxx and ross and then is it or maybe it is maybe it is okay yeah i think it is um so yeah we're gonna go and do that and then um 
We did end up cooking last night, but I didn't show y'all. We did cook, we made um, chicken alfredo. So I'm pretty sure y'all kind of got the gist though. We all seen me grocery shopping the other day. Like I'm pretty sure y'all seen basically or figured what we were making or whatever. So um, yeah, I didn't eat any though because we literally finished cooking at like morning. It was really late. Like, so I didn't eat anything because by that time I really wasn't even hungry. So I'm just happy that it's done now so I can eat. Um, so yeah. And I still need to go and get some dematting spray for Braxton. So I'll see if they may have some of that like in one of these stores that I'm about to go into. And what else, what else, what else do I need to do before I go into the house? I think that's it. At least I hope that's it. That's all I can think of right now. I just came out to today, so I want to show y'all what I got that I found. <laughs> Look at it. I need to do my nails. It's so gorgeous. And I love that it's like the smaller dainty one because I love like the dainty small jewelry anyway, like over the big old um, leaf clovers, whatever they're called. Uh, so yeah, I love that and I love that color too. That's a perfect color that will go with like everything so I can wear it like daily. And when I see the girls like on TikTok talking about it, they be like, they didn't have theirs on. I've seen people talking about they've had theirs on for months and it hasn't changed color from TJ Maxx, the ones from TJ Maxx. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to take that risk, but we'll see. Because I've tried other TJ Maxx and they didn't have it. So, really, me going in there and making that return, I really looked up. So, I don't know if I want to take my chances with, you know, taking a shower with it on and stuff like that because I don't know if I'm gonna look up on another one so but I did TJ Maxx Ross so we finished that and then oh I should have probably went to pet supplies or I probably should look for some D let me go to let me go to pet supplies and see if I can find brights and some D matte and spray real quick actually I wanna do him a favor and try to make sure that for one, this lighting need to do me a favor and brighten up and make sure that it's not too dark because, girl, let me go in here real quick. Okay, they have this demat or detangling spray with coconut oil. I feel like this may work. I feel like I should just go with this. I think I should try to give it a shot myself. They have some thinning scissors and grooming scissors. They got the toenail stuff. I should have been coming in here because pet supplies um, prices are way better than like pet smart and stuff. And they're like good quality too. Great for a dog coats, medium, long, and curly. I really feel like I should try this. Like just to kind of groom him up a little bit myself before he goes and actually gets groomed. What y'all think? I just don't know where all that hair gonna go and I don't want all that hair all over the place. But yeah, if they don't um, have, I mean, if they do have to groom them down or shave them down a lot, I know where to come to so I can get him a little coat to wear whenever he goes outside. So he's not cold. These are so cute. And y'all, sometimes I be wishing Braxton was a girl, even though I know I wanted a boy really bad. But sometimes when I see stuff like this, it's like, oh, I wish I had me a little girl. She would be so dressed up and all cute and stuff but baby Braxton take off his own clothes that's why I don't buy him clothes because they be on for a good three seconds before he learn how to or figure out how to take it off and these dog beds are super cute but he don't need a new dog bed right now like this right here is so cute just imagine I want another dog but I want a big dog this time Thank you. You too. Okay, I'm gonna be in the shower and it's time to wash my hair because y'all, it looks uh, 
absolute hot mess. Like, okay, this is gone. But I just don't know what these packages look like. I have three Amazon packages. I ordered the design attention from Amazon. Okay, so this is the Rosemary and Mint Stimulating and Super Moisturizing Conditioner. So, I got this. Um, both of them are design essentials. I don't think that they, I don't know why it's not focusing. I don't think that they go together like as a set. I just know that I wanted something that was moisturizing for both my conditioner and for my shampoo. So this is actually technically a deep, is it? Actually it's, I don't think so. It doesn't say deep, but it's a super moisturizing conditioner and it had really, really good reviews and it says stimulates scalp and moisturizes hair. So that's that. And then I don't know which is which in these boxes as far as like which one has the shampoo in it. So let's see. Oh, this is the OPI. I ordered the OPI nail polish and bubble bath, but I'm sending it back because it's the regular version of the polish and I didn't pay attention to that whenever I was ordering it. And y'all know I'm not, I'm not about to wear no regular polish now. So this gotta be the shampoo. I went ahead and ordered, I ordered another polish from B&D. &D. but ouch it delivered but I don't have it so okay you know what so this is the shampoo it's the honey and cream moisture retention and super detangling conditioning shampoo so this is a conditioning shampoo which I feel like will be really good too since I have been like Putting a lot of heat and stuff in my hair. Moisture is like really, really important if you're putting a lot of heat in your hair, especially I'm putting heat in my hair and it's cold outside. So I'm about to wash my hair and um, I'm probably gonna leave this in my hair overnight. Even though it doesn't say it's a deep conditioner, I think I'm still gonna leave it and it's sulfate and alcohol free and all of that kind of good stuff. Oh, it has a whole seed oil in it. It has a lot of stuff in it that I really shouldn't be using, but listen, at this point, I feel like I'll be fine since it's not like I'm going to be using it, you know, like every single day. I'm going to use it and it's going to get rinsed out tomorrow. So let me wash my hair and then I'll see y'all whenever I get out of the shower so we can see like what it's giving, what it feels like. It's Look a hot mess. So what's my color on it? You put the goodies in there and while they still look like they not done, you take them out and then you let them sit. So when you actually eat them, they're going to be super soft. So you take them out before they're technically done. Let me see, let me touch one. Yeah. That'll be mine. <laughs> definitely feel like the curls my curls kind of like came back a whole lot a bit like overnight well actually like kind of immediately as i was washing my hair and shampoo usually doesn't do it for my girls but as i was washing my hair my hair just felt way more like you could be i could feel my curls um when i was washing my hair so definitely would rate it a 10 out of 10 the conditioner is still in my hair right now but i'm about to rinse it out all that kind of good stuff 
do my hair because I have to do my hair, you know, I have to so brush my hair and do my hair for the weekend, which y'all will see what's going on this weekend in a whole nother video. Yeah, I'm about to do that. I still have to do like my nails and all of that too. My nails and toes. I gotta do the whole little shebang. So I'm about to probably go ahead and get in the shower, rest this out my head, and just go ahead and um get on my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog right here. This one is probably gonna be short, but Next week's will be long. I know we've been getting so many short vlogs, but next week, and it's just a lot of content that's about to be pushed out, period, because I was gone for too long, so it's just like, I'm back on it now. I'm back on it. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to close out here. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I'll see y'all in the next vlog again. I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoy watching.